show me your friend and I will show you how your future will look like. Some people even go to an extent saying that beds of the same feathers flock together. Now, today, I am here to talk about networking with you and how it has impacted my life in one way or the other. Well, um, networking, it's making friends, literally. But it is not really making friends like when we're kids. When we're kids, it's like, I like you, you like me, we are in the same class, we automatically have to like each other and be friends. And uh, sometimes some of these things are fostered with our parents. Oh, she's my friend, he's my friend, so you are supposed to be their wards or children's friend as well. So we didn't really know so much about picking and choosing who we wanted to associate with. But trust me, whoever you associate with, somehow has an impact on you subconsciously and consciously why because sometimes behaviors and patterns are built of just observing people being in the presence of a situation having to see someone behave in a certain way you can just pick up a behavior or a character mind you you would not agree with me but have you ever thought of this you hate a song and then you continuously hear your colleague at work sing this song regularly or probably your roommate sing to this song so much that at some point of God you cut yourself singing that song has it ever happened to you so that's how behaviors wear off on us Trust me, you might feel like you have everything in control and whoever you associate yourself with might not be able to impact you, but they do. If you have that one friend that does not hold you accountable, the only thing I think we cannot choose as family members, and even with that, sometimes we can be able to determine who we want to associate in our family or not. Now let's talk about networking. Networking is a process of building contacts and making friends. Mind you, when we were kids, we did this. I mentioned earlier, but this time around, we are not making friends just for making friends sake or because we're gonna talk on the phone all the time or probably go out to do certain things. We make friends because we want them to be impactful for us and then we will be impactful for them too as well. Networking is so powerful. I mean, we all know that who you know is how your future will be determined. I know a lot of people that say they do not believe in it, but I do believe in it. Rich people know rich people, life is better for them. Oh, hey, I need this loan, can you vouch for me? And then they do it. Oh, hey, I need this, I need that, and, and they are here. My business is falling off, what did you do? And they are running to advise you. Have you ever found out that people that have it going on good in their life, they have clubs that they joined, that they make time to spend time with them and those group or social networks. I mean, now we don't see it more often, but those days, it was a thing. Social networking was a thing, whereby we always had the elite, upper class, and then the lower class. So do not downplay Networking. Networking has helped me a lot. Networking has helped me has helped me attain a promotion at work. Word of mouth. Hey, there's this opportunity. Apply. Someone called me. There's this opportunity. Apply. I have already put in work for you. Now, mind you, you don't necessarily have to be friends. When I say friends, like I'm visiting your home, you're visiting my home. Let's do this. No. All you have to do is show up for them when they need you. Somehow, <clears throat> not a regular check-in, but once in a while. Hey, how are you doing? Thanks. Catch up, get to know each other very well, update each other on life circumstances and whatever is happening. The first thing I do when I am networking is to identify the source first. Whoever I want to network with, who where I want to do it, how I can track down the person to talk to the person. It could be on social media. It could be that you have to meet them on a social ground. It could be that you have to 
meet them through another friend by just a word of mouth oh hey tell this person i like them and this is my contact so let's get talking we could go out so you could actually network through another network of yours see how it works the second thing i'll suggest to you is for you to identify your end goal your motive the end results of whatever you would want to rip off that network or friendship it could be social growth it could be political growth it could actually be career growth any of them you are okay to make friends and be able to determine that I need a job at this certain place and by being friends with this particular person the person might be able to put in a good word for me and I'll be employed if it's political it could be that the person has to get through other people or you want to get into a political party to be known for you to build up the same ideologies and everything for you to be able to be part of them and for you to achieve that particular network. The third thing I want to suggest to you is for you to build up skills. Communication skills, active listening, public speaking, and social skills. All this, to mention but a few, all these are skills you have to build up on yourself. So you need to do a lot of work on yourself before you even start talking to someone or asking people to be your friend. You have to build up these skills for them to help you attain these goals. I mean, if you're not active listening, I'm not sure someone would want to have a conversation with you, would it? Good. If you do not know how to put two words together, nobody would want to listen to you too as well. If someone is talking to you and you're sleeping, probably yawning, do not know how to active, actively listen, there's no way they would want to be your friend. So you have to build all the skills for them to be able to help you foster these networks, these friendships that you would need to build yourself up. The other thing I want to suggest to you is for you to be able to have a positive mindset. Successful people, rich people, do not have negative mindset. I'm sure we've all had the law of, of attraction, but that's a, a topic for another day. You have to be positive. Nobody would want to network with a negative person. Always find a way to frame things positively. People want to be around such people. As much as enthusiasm is part of it, most people want to be among people that are optimistic. They want to know positive things. They do not want to always, you are the bad news bearer. You always have a bad story coming in. You always have some negative energy among everybody. Nobody will want to associate with you if you cannot frame things positively. Another thing I want to suggest to you is for you to focus on building genuine long-term friendships and contacts. The temptations come because temptations might come. They might offer you, and this is how networking is. They might tempt you because people want to build trust before they even open up for you. They might tempt you with shortcuts. And if you should take them, that's you not being genuine and you are not trustworthy. Nobody would want to foster any kind of friendship with you. So focus on building genuine long-term friendships. Oh, not just because I, I need something from someone. I just become close to them, get it, and then off I go. No, you might need them again, right? So focus on building genuine long-term friendships. That will mean that you have to take time, you have to nourish the friendship, you have to build trust, you have to build a common goal between you people. You also have to ensure that they are not also trying to rip you off because sometimes it's not the other way around it is you being ripped off because you trusted someone and someone actually to invest in something and blah 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 you have lost money now so yeah focus on building long-term genuine friendships it's slowly you do not rush these things you do not don't do it do not
the other thing I want to suggest for you is for you to be able to learn how to cope with rejection and feedback you can't do it one time and it's gonna hurt each time you, you you're rejected by a social group or by somebody who doesn't want to be your friend however you would have to be able to cope with that you would have to be able to see them without holding grudges you would have to be able to move past that because you have bigger goals to achieve and just one little rejection shouldn't set you back also with feedbacks when you are trying to attain success you have to be able to listen to feedback you have to be able to improve yourself and in order for you to improve yourself you have to be able to take feedback from people some would be positive and some will be negative and the negative ones are always gonna down on you but guess what you do not let them keep you down for a while it's okay for them to hit you in the place that it hurts most but you cannot stay hurt you find out how you you're supposed to or you are going to address that issue correct that mistake probably then move on past it and you're good to go another thing I want to suggest to you is that when you start networking you have to be consistent you just don't network because you are looking for an opportunity because you want a promotion because you want a job somewhere because you want to be introduced to someone because you want to be noticed by people because you are launching that new business of yours no you have to stay consistent when you are networking so whether you are in need of someone or not you have to continuously build a network you have to continuously get to know people one rainy day you might just pick your 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 phone scroll through and guess what that one person you were looking for that one person you met a year ago that you've kept in touch with is not being useful you, you get in contact with them and your problem is solved voila so stay consistent you do not always have to be in need of something before you make friends you do not always have to wait till the last minute for you to be able to make friends stay making friends stay attending important gatherings social gatherings that you think you'll be able to meet good and people that share the same views and ideologies with you or the same business perspective so that you can build contacts another thing i want to suggest to you is that you have to build interviewing skills yes so you do not just meet people and then you introduce yourself and wait for them to tell you who they are or what they want to tell you about themselves build interviewing skills this will be able to to help you foster a good communication whereby there will be answers not just from one person there will be conversation constant conversation going on between the two of you for the time period you are communicating you don't really have to go with it how are you what do you do for a living no 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 build interviewing skills that you might be able to even get some information of this person without this person knowing that means that you would have to research the people you're going to meet before you meet them you research about the company you want that promotion in you have to do research about these people before you even meet them so you have questions about them to ask them so they will know that you've been following up you are really interested in this job promotion or social group or class that you want to belong to Another thing I want to suggest to you is for you to build your etiquettes. Why should you build your etiquettes? Whether you are emailing, physical contact, phone call, uh, a text message, you have to know the right time to text, send an email, to reach out and when to stop that conversation. That means that you'd have to actually even learn how to communicate very well on these things. Not like you leave a blue tick on their messages on the whatsapp you have to learn some of these etiquettes that means that prioritizing to it's a must how should i talk to this person who should i text first oh i just received this message do i have to wait for a month or two months before i reply no you reply instantly so you have to learn some of these etiquettes of communication so that you'll be able to foster this good 
relationship so that you'll be able to nourish them another thing that i'm so keen about i'm very 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 keen about is do not go to the table empty-handed no use nobody wants to have these kind of relationships whereby it's just one-sided one person doing the most and the other person just relaxing and waiting for you to just work your behind off to make them happy so do not go to the table empty try to be useful when you're networking you have to be useful you have to make an impact it could be you even listening to their problems it could be you actually even printing up something for someone it could be you forwarding an article that might help them do not network empty handed oh give me give me give me do this do this do this but you never show up for them you never do anything for them that is not nice and i'm sure you don't also want that with you if someone should be doing that to you would you want to have build such kind of friendship with them no i bet you would say no so yes these are the few things i do to foster good healthy relationships with people that I can vouch has helped me so 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 much I cannot stress on that networking has its positive impact and if fostered very well you will build so much success just by the people you know and the people you associate yourself with with thank you for tuning in this is your girl judith adams if you haven't subscribed please do that down below i would really appreciate it and take care of yourself salam <laughs>